Hello here on Friday, June the 9th. <laughs> I'm done yelling at Reverie for walking around in circles while I'm trying to get through the kitchen. <sighs> I love him, but for fuck's sake, go lay down somewhere. <sighs> uh, so it's like 9 o'clock at night, very late, um, here on Friday, June the 9th. I don't know if I said that. Um, I guess I haven't posted in a minute. I don't know. I took on a second part-time job trying to get my finances in gear before the student loans come back, just to make sure. Um, but anyway, um, I'm not going to the 4th of July party. This, probably not. Uh, my uncle, he's still having a 4th of July party. I know I usually go to his 4th of July party um, to film the fireworks. I'm not going to be doing that this year, probably. Um, if I go, there will be no fireworks to film. Um, but he has every year, um, I guess on June 10th, or around June 10th, uh, he has a life celebration for my Aunt Laura, who was in a car accident many, many years ago, and, uh, had, you know, she, she came back, you know, not the same, but it's kind of celebrating her rebirth, you know, after the car accident and whatnot, so I thought, um, I would go down for that instead this year, and, um, maybe the 4th of July party too, I don't know, but there won't be fireworks, but anyway, um, because I decided to, well, I actually, I was intending to make some cookie fluffs for Mother's Day, and I um, didn't have bowls. <laughs> Heather had my bowls, so I wasn't able to make the cookie fluffs for um, for Mother's Day. So I had some leftover. Um, I um, debated on, and I know I usually share my little cookie fluff concoctions with you, y'all. I thought I, maybe I'd make this two separate videos, um, but I was like, eh, I'm too lazy. Let's just do it all in one, because I fully intended to drop the s'mores Oreos. S'mores Oreos. So I went to pick those up the other day, and then I found cotton candy Oreos. Like, we have these things. It's not right. It's not fair, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway. I think that's a Whitney Houston song. Um, bad interpretation of it. So yes, I was like, you know what? I might need to make myself a cookie fluff too. Uh, everybody else. Um, <laughs> um, if you've never came across one of my cookie fluff videos before, um, the basic, and this is, I, I found this recipe on YouTube many, many moons ago, and I double it. Um, because I, I'm usually making it for a party, potluck dinner at work or something, and it ends up making this much. So that is quite a bit there. Uh, I think that's the that's the s'mores one. Yes. Um, but I do. Uh, it's an eight ounce package of cream cheese, uh, three cups of milk. Oops. And I think I forgot to mention this last time that I did a cookie fluff video. Uh, it is 32 ounces of whipped tipping. Um, so I usually get the two big, you know, big. I always have to remember, I have it written down on my phone. I always have to look at it every single time. Um, <laughs> so it's like I get one of the cream cheese, uh, two of these to make enough to, you know, I want to try to feed everybody. And uh, then it's basically uh, from there whatever your mind can create. Um, for instance, for my s'mores cookie fluff, uh, I decided, well, I actually already had uh, this Hershey's white chocolate. I mean, I don't think it has to be Hershey's or anything, um, but to do this much, to double the recipe, you have to have two boxes of um, whatever pudding you desire. Because I thought, you know, white chocolate might kind of simulate Oreo flavor, or not Oreo flavor, um, s'mores flavor, kind of, and I ended up getting, um, I forgot these. They're all the way over here, across the room. Uh, marshmallows? I went ahead and got some marshmallows to put in the cookie fluff, um, just to kind of, you know, m more closely simulate the s'mores I guess. Um, I thought about getting like some graham crackers and crushing them, like crushing them up in there or whatever, but I figured the Oreos already did that. Um, and I ended up buying two bo uh, two packages each of these. Um, I'm going to hopefully not drop them out of here. I've had s'mores Oreos before, but you can see, and I might even have a taste test video of them, uh, the cookie itself is a graham crackery 
kind of thing. Um, so, unfortunately, I kind of shorted people on the, uh, the s'mores because I, um, I needed to leave room for the, for the marshmallows so it doesn't have as many cookies in it. Um, uh, well, I've already got these locked. So, I guess I should unlock them and let you see, let you see the wondrous things that can be. And I mean, you might be able to see it better on the sides or whatever. There's cookies in there. There's marshmallows. And it is looking delicious. And I did put some aside for my number one fluff fan, Heather, at work. <laughs> I, every time I try these little concoctions, I always thought about a peanut butter one. She's mentioned a Butterfinger one. I think that would actually be pretty good. Um, I intended to make um, a dark chocolate um, because it was for Mother's Day. Um, I had this package of dark chocolate uh, pudding mix over here, and I was going to use the dark chocolate Oreos. But I didn't have my bowls, so I still have this, and I just gave Mom the dark chocolate Oreos because she's, I don't know, she's on whatever medicine it is now to, like, I think it controls her cholesterol, so she can, like, basically eat whatever she wants. She's not as strict on dieting anymore, so she can have her dark chocolate Oreos. So she had that. Um, but yes, for the s'mores Oreos, I did the, you know, white chocolate to, to make the pudding, the, the cookie pudding, as I believe I called it the first time I made, you know, so you put in the, you know, the cream cheese and the, and the milk and the pudding and whip it all up. And I have like different whisks now. Um, I have these guys and this one's flat. I always have problems with, um, and I mean, whoops. Today I whipped, I whisked the shit out of them as far as I'm concerned. And like, I still think at like, no matter how much I whisk it, I feel like I always end up with cream cheese, like chunks in there sometimes. I try not to, if anybody has any advice for me on how to not get like the little, the little tiny little chocolate or cho uh, cream cheese, little chunks in there. I tried my best. I tried my best. Um, it's still food. You can still eat it. It's just, I guess, I don't know, maybe it ruins the experience. I don't know. <laughs> but so, you know, because I was like taking the, I, you know, I was going back and forth and I was like, you know, I was taking the, the, the flat one and I was like whisking it like this and then kind of whisking it to the side and whisking it back and forth and everything. And it's like every time I thought I was done, I would scrape it through there and there'd be more little cream cheese chunks. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But anyway, <laughs> um, for my cotton candy Oreos, which I ended up using both packages, because, you know, it was, if I felt like it was, I want to I want to make sure everybody gets the cookies part, I guess, and I felt it was lacking without, you know, there was extra space in there without the marshmallows, so I was able to uh, just use both of these. I wanted to go with, like, a simple kind of flavor, because I didn't want it to, you know, overpower the cotton candiness, so I just used vanilla. Uh, I thought about not even using pudding mix. I've never tried to do a cookie fluff without using pudding mix, so I don't know how that would turn out. I did try Jello once. Um, it came out a little bit runnier than usual for some reason, and I don't know why. I did Skittles. It was like Skittles um, fluff. It didn't have cookies in it though. I don't think. Or wait, maybe it did. No, maybe it was. Maybe it was just. Maybe it just. An, you know, an experiment that I decided to do. <laughs> So yeah, I ended up going with the vanilla, uh, not the French vanilla, just the regular vanilla for this. And uh, of course, you know, I was scraping it off. And it's definitely, thanks to the Oreos, it definitely tastes like cotton candy. So um, that's just a couple little, little ideas that I came up with that I thought that I would share with you all. <sighs> so um, I did doze off earlier when I got home from second work. <laughs> um, but I, I'm feeling now that I've, now that I've whisked the shit out of myself, um, I'm feeling like maybe it's time for another nap. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't show you the, I mean, it basically looks the same, but you can kind of see the, maybe the, the pink and purple that uh, from the 
I'm gonna try not to drop this. Um, the pink and purple from the, um, see I told you my brain's shutting off as we speak in the middle of my sentence. Um, the Oreo cream in the middle. Okay, so, and I, I thought, I, I was, I don't know, I was thinking about, I was trying to find something like maybe some uh, chocolate chips or something to put in it. We did have um, some kind of what's called unicorn um, chocolate chips. It's like an Annie, I don't know, it's one of those fancier ones, I don't know. But I wasn't exactly sure what flavor it was and I didn't want it to distract from the cotton candy flavor, so I decided not to get them. Um, I was thinking there was some little like... Maybe I don't think it's nerd. I don't think it was a nerds one that I'm thinking of. I was thinking there was like some little like crackly, kind of like nerds do, you know, like crunchy, some little crunchy like candy or whatever. I was thinking about getting those if I could figure out what they were, because um, I, you know, we didn't have like sprinkles or anything that was like cotton candy ish. But there again, I guess cotton candy is not really crunchy anyway, so that was really. <laughs> But I thought maybe it would add to the flavor, but it definitely doesn't need added to the flavor. The Oreos are doing the job themselves just fine. So, but anyway, um, those are my two new cookie fluff concoctions that I thought that I would share with you all. Um, and I'm gonna start getting this video uploaded, hopefully, before I doze off. <laughs> and uh, so, have a good weekend. And uh, I will see you for what I see you. I actually found, I'm thinking about um, the other day, my camera case. Oh, goodness. Um, I found some old stuff from, like, uh, uh, a trip that we went on. Like, the, I, it just kind of was, like, collecting my trip stuff. So I thought maybe I'd go through that, like, a little memory lane sort of deal. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you for what I see you.